Uh, one of the things that is an advancement in the Linoprint series that wasn't possible before was the ability to run on textured stocks. Okay, one of the uh, challenges in digital presses with electrophotography is, is whenever we want to transfer toner from one point to another point within the system, whether that be the drum to the blanket or the blanket to the, to the substrate, okay, toner wants to move to the, to the most opposite charge. Okay, so the way we get toner to move uh, to the different medium is that we use voltage, okay? And all the machines uh, do this in the industry, okay? But when we have a textured media, one of the challenges that we have is that we have a textured stock and getting the toner to move itself or getting uh, to transfer down into the crevices of those, of that, of those textured medias has always been a challenge, is, uh, challenge for these machines. So we wanna show you a little bit uh, about the advancements in the machine that make this possible today. The advancement that has come with the Linoprint CV is that in addition to using a DC voltage to move that toner over to the paper, we also now use an alternating current voltage superimposed on top of that DC voltage. Effectively what this does is that that AC voltage provides an electrostatic sort of vibration and drives that toner down into the crevices of the paper. That AC transfer doesn't have to be on all the time. Okay, we only turn that on in with the stocks that, uh, that we want to use it with, and we save that with the media profile. So once you actually set up a, a substrate to do this, okay, you don't have to do it again the next time you rub, run that substrate, it's saved with the media profile. The other advancement that makes it possible for the performance of this on textured stocks is in our belt fuser, okay? Advancement, uh, some big advancements in belt fusing, um, Again, the fuser is also oilless, okay? So we have much more consistency in terms of uniformity across the long runs of, 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 uh, and, and that we do in commercial print um, with the machine. But the difference with it is, is that in this generation of fuser, again, previous fusers use, use two hard rollers that press against each other, okay? Now what we do is we actually use a compliant blanket, okay? So we have a roller and a blanket, and in this generation of fuser, the blanket, there is an elastic layer that exists within the fuser and that contours to the shape of the paper. So not only have we driven the toner down into the crevices of the paper, but our fuser is also contouring to the shape of the substrate and fusing that into, into the, uh, you know, into the, uh, across the entire surface of the paper. So as part of that, that's how we get much better performance on our uh, textured stocks, uncoated stocks, anything that has, you know, uh, a not smooth uh, surface to it.